Well, our team coverage of today's shuttle launch continues with NASA reporter Greg McCampbell. Greg joins us live from Marshall Space Flight Center, where the mission means a second chance for Marshall's microgravity lab. Greg? That's right, Kimberly. As you know, uh, Marshall experiments have fallen victim, no fault of their own, to a couple of mishaps. First, we had the Columbia shuttle mission that was delayed and had to come back early. And then we had the Russian space station Mir, which lost 160 or more experiments on board when they had that collision, that docking collision. Now, Marshall officials here are hoping this one will go without a hitch, and that's tonight's top story at 6. When microgravity experiments are backlogged because of delays or accidents, a hold is placed on advances in important research. Right now, scientists are on the brink of curing some of the most deadly diseases on our planet. The Marshall Space Flight Center shuttle experiments involve growing proteins in animal cells. Because of it, new drugs are being discovered. Future biology research is advancing, and cures for viruses are within our reach. I think that shows the importance of the research that will be accomplished on this mission, research in space to benefit people on Earth. Marshall's experiments aboard Columbia also include improvements in the way we live and treat our environment. Several combustion experiments are designed to make improvements in industrial furnaces, home and business heating, and car engines. Overall, making fossil fuels cleaner, safer, and more efficient. What we have been able to do is show that these experiments will work, and that's very, very important. We now know the experiments are on the right track. They're going to work. And if all goes well, the shuttle Columbia will return on July 17th. I'm Greg McCampbell reporting live at the Marshall Space Flight Center, WAFF 48 News. Well, no pun intended, Greg, but a lot riding on this mission. You bet it is. All right, Greg, thanks for your report.